Good morning. Our lesson for today is a constant and a variable. Let's take an example to illustrate what is a constant and what is a variable. If we have a bookshop that sells a certain book for 30 LE. So if you want to know what is the price of two books, we will multiply 30 by 2 and the result will be 60. But if we, not, we want to know the price of three books, we multiply 30 by 3 and the result will be 90. So the price of x number of books, which means that x is an unknown value, will be 30 multiplied by x. Then the price of book is a constant, which is 30, which is 30. And the total price of books is a variable according to number of books. So x is the number of books, it's a variable, and the total price of books is 30 multiplied by x. 30 multiplied by x will be 30x. So we will, we will write it as 30 x. 30 is constant, which is the price of one book, and the x is a variable unknown value is a number of books. As we said before, equations consist of two parts, a left-hand side and a right-hand side. Let's have an example. 3x equals 15. Here we have one variable which is x and two constants which are 3 and 15. And as you know 3x means that 3 is multiplied by x. So to get the value of x we will move 3 to the next side with an inverse operation which is divided. So I have to make 15 divided 3 so value of x will be 5. Now let's have an example with two variables. As you know, parameter of a square equals side length multiplied by 4. So, if parameter is P equal side length times 4, so here I have two variables, which is parameter and side length, and one constant which is 4, which means that parameter, its value will change by the value of side length. So, its value will vary according to the value of side length. Another example with two variables, if I have y equal x plus 3, so here I have two variables, y and x, and one constant which is 3. And value of y, again, will vary according to value of x. So here, value of y will change according to value of x, so we have two variables, x and y, and one constant which is 3. Now let's have some keywords to solve mathematical expressions. Sum means plus, difference means minus, product means times or multiply, and the two words double and twice means two times. Now let's answer uh, some questions with two variables. Number one, the sum of two numbers x and y is 20. So sum means plus. So I have to make x plus y is 20, is means it equals to 20. So here I have two variables and one constant which is 20. Here he needs the value of y. So I have to make y in a side. How to get the value of y? I have here x, so I will move x to the other side with an inverse operation. Here the sign is Plus, so the inverse operation will be minus. So I will write 20 minus x. So this is the value of y. Number two, if the product of two numbers x and y is 10, then y equal, as you know, product means times. So the product of two numbers x and y, which means x, y, is means equal 10. So, to get the value of y, I will make y in one side. Here the sign is times or multiply. So, I will move x to the other side with an inverse operation. Inverse operation of multiply is divide. So, y will be 10 divide x. 
Question number three. The difference of two numbers is seven. Difference means minus. The difference between numbers, two numbers is seven. The smaller number is y. As you know, when we make minus, we have to write the big number first, then subtract from it the small number. So I will write x minus y. Why I write x minus y? Because y is the smaller number. So I should make the bigger number minus the smaller number. The difference between the two numbers is 7, which means it's equal to 7. So he needs the greater number. So I have here x as the greater number and y as the smaller number. So to get the value of x, which is the greater, equals. So I will move y to the other side with an inverse operation. Here the sign is minus, so the inverse operation will be plus. So I will write 7 plus y, and this is the value of x. Next question. The side length of an equilateral triangle is L. As you know, equilateral triangle is a triangle in which three sides are equal in length. So the side length is L, its parameter is B. So to get B, I have to make uh, the side, the three side lengths uh, added to each other or a parameter equal side length multiplied by three. So I can say B, which is the parameter equal three multiplied by side length, which means three L. And here I have two variables, parameter and side length, and one constant which is 3. Next question. Area of rectangle is A and its, its length is X. Width is 5 cm. Then A. So as you know, area of rectangle equal length multiplied by width. So here he denoted a length by X. So I can say area equal X multiplied by width, which is 5. So I can say that area equal 5 multiplied by x. And here I have two variables, area and x, which is the length, and one constant, which is 5, which is the width. 